difference a day makes. It's brilliant blue sunshine. Yeah. It's a slight dark cloud above me, but I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> and we're off to Lindisfarne. Um, Lindisfarne Island, also known as Holy Island, uh, is accessed via Tidal Causeway. It was founded by St. Aidan in 635. So there's your fact for the morning. <laughs> So we're all here now, aren't we? We are, are we? Yeah, four dogs. Four dogs. And six humans. Six humans, yep. Yeah. itself is closed, I think. It'll be a bit of a climb, that's by the looks of it. Yeah. That'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry. Going here. Well done, Macy. Cuthbert lived there for a short period. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you could always walk back to the Priory, couldn't you, if you got hungry? So, I said there's an easier way down over there. Yeah. <laughs> All good. Macy's having a whale of a time, aren't you, Macy? <laughs> now we were the only mad two that wanted to go up there, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> that pri that prior is on on the lean, isn't it? Am I imagining it? It's just... Yeah. Just the way I'm holding the GoPro. Yeah. Who's licking the pot first? Yeah. Yeah, I've got to do that, haven't I? Oh, that's a bit big, that one, isn't it? Any minute now, Shelley's going to put one in the armour. <laughs> 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 Shelley's going to put one in the armour. Shelley's going to put one in the armour. Shelley's going to put one in the armour. That's quite cool. How come you've got one first and you've not finished yours? Apart from the disabled thing. Uh, 
this is supposed to be if you get stranded if you walk in get up in the hut and stay reasonably dry day at Lindisfarne. Uh, the sun uh, was shining and it was uh, very very scenic. Um, Lindisfarne is an amazing place really if you get a chance to go there um, you really should. One thing you must note is because you access Lindisfarne via a tidal causeway you've got to check the tide times otherwise you'll either end up stranded over there or getting washed away to sea. Uh, I don't think don't think I recommend either of those uh, scenarios. So you they check the tide times for Linda's farm when you go across. It is brilliant. Um, unfortunately, because it was Easter Sunday, uh, a lot of the sort of um, well the church services were on and that sort of thing, so we couldn't really go in the priory or, or anywhere like that. The castle's been renovated, so there's scaffolding all over it, so we couldn't go up there. But it is it's I mean it's just well worth seeing the island and. Uh, having a look at it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's the last we're going to do in this little break, uh, which started at Harrogate. Um, our next, well, I think the, the reason why it's the last one is because tomorrow it's actually going to be tipping down with snow. So so we're not, we're not looking forward to that, so we probably won't film anything tomorrow. But we're heading on home Tuesday, weather permitting, and our next trip will be at the National Motorhome Show at Peterborough. So we'll, we'll take you along there. Uh, we'll have a look at some of the, uh, the new and used vans at Peterborough. And if there's anything uh, you'd like me to see or look at or anything uh, particular you, you, know, you want to see, let us know. Um, leave a comment. Uh, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe. Hit that bell icon for the notification so you get updates when we release a video. And uh, I think that's it. We'll catch up with you then. Yep, a little poop popping out as well. Right, see you then.